Are you ready to supercharge your Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365 experience? Welcome to the Virtual Mac YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into how H.265 encoding can really revolutionize your Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365 setup. With H.265, you get crystal clear video quality at half the bandwidth of the H.264, so it's perfect for remote work, video editing, Teams calls, and much, much more. So stick around to learn how to enable H.265 on your Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365 Desktop. And then we're going to explain the differences between H.264 and H.265 and show you how to take your productivity to the next level. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tech tips. So how does H.265 help with Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365? We're going to look at four reasons why you should use H.265 for your GPU enabled VMs within Azure. So firstly, bandwidth efficiency. H.265 is very efficient, offering the same video quality as H.264, but of half the bandwidth. This is crucial for remote desktop environments like Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365, where bandwidth can be a limiting factor. With H.265, users can experience smoother video playback and higher quality visuals without consuming excessive bandwidth. Number two, improve user experience. With H.265, we reduce the file size and bandwidth requirements. H.265 ensures a more responsive and seamless user experience. This is particularly beneficial for tasks involving high resolution video streaming, video conferencing like Teams, and multimedia applications on virtual desktop environments. Number three, cost savings. So with H.265, we get lower bandwidth usage, and that translates to cost savings, especially for businesses with multiple users accessing virtual desktops. Reduced data transfer speeds means low operational costs, making H.265 an attractive option for enterprises using Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365. And lastly, we've got future proofing. As more content moves towards high resolutions like 4K and 8K, H.265's superior compression capabilities make it a future-proof solution. So implementing H.265 in Azure Virtual Desktop on the Windows 365 ensures that your virtual environment is ready for the demands of tomorrow's high resolution content. So, in summary, by leveraging H.265, Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365 users can enjoy enhanced video quality, reduced bandwidth usage, and overall better performance, making it a smart choice for to modern virtual desktop environments of today. So, enough of the theory, let's go and actually take a look and see how we can enable your GPU VMs to use H.265 codec. Okay, so let's actually go and take a look at the, the prereqs uh, that we have to use for H.265. Um, so this is the, the Microsoft KB article um, that we've got. And essentially, it's currently in preview. Okay, so public preview. Um, so this is going to show you the kind of prereqs that we need to have to deploy it. So first of all, obviously, it's only supported on GPU VMs, right? So we need to make sure that we have one of those Azure VM sizes. Um, if you don't have those, obviously, you're not going to be able to use um, H.265, okay? Um, so that's the first prereq that we've got. Um, second prereq is the configuration settings um, that we've got. So you can actually configure um, the settings that we need to enable this via Intune or via group policy, okay? So today, for simplicity, we're going to do it via group policy. Um, but if you need to enable the Intune settings, um, you can go to this KV article, which I'll put in the description. Um, and that will show you how to enable that, okay? And then, of course, we've got some other prereqs as well. So we need to enable Windows 11. Um, it's not supported in remote app scenarios, so it has to be a full um, session desktop. We need to disable multimedia redirection, um, and then we also need to have the group policy template um, to enable the settings um, to enable us to configure that, um, but we'll go through that shortly. And then we also need to have to make sure the HEVC codex is installed. Now, this is already installed as part of Windows 11 22H2 onwards. Um, but if you're running Windows 10, um, you need to uh, install the HEVC codec uh, from the Microsoft Store. Okay. And then we need to be running minimum and um, Windows app uh, version 1.3.278.0 or version 1.2.4671 of the remote desktop app. Okay. Um, and then obviously you just need to go ahead and do the normal uh, GPU deployment. So I've already prepared a VM that already had the GPU um, installed. So the stuff that we're going to go through shortly is how to actually um, configure these settings. Um, and then we'll show you which settings um, have been applied. Um, and then we will also just double check and we can see, make sure that we are using the H.265 codec. Okay, so 
that's the prereqs. Um, so I'll see you back shortly for the actual implementation and then we'll just do a quick test um, and then just make sure that everything's working okay. Okay, so now we're actually going to configure the settings um, on the session. Oh, so as I mentioned before, we're going to use group policy. So let's flick over to my pre-configured group policy console. Um, now, the only thing I've done here is I've um, downloaded the latest policy files um, and put them in this as well. Um, and that gives you the, the latest um, menu settings, which we'll look at in a second. So essentially, there's a couple of settings that we need to enable. Um, so the first one is use hardware graphic adapters for all remote uh, remote desktop services connections. OK, um, so this will force it to use the um, the NVIDIA or AMD GPU. Um, we need to set it to prioritize H.264 and H.265. So we need to set it to prioritize H.264 and also configure um h264 as well and um, this all the settings what these do uh, and we're in the microsoft documentation um but also the new setting which you need to configure um is this one here where we've got um configure h265 hevc hardware encoding and um, for remote desktop connections okay so this is the one that which you have to update your um policies for so i'm just going to select that and then we're just going to set that to enables okay um, cool. So this this GPO is applied to um, my um, session hosts, right? So um, I'm just going to go and reboot my session hosts, and we're going to come back. We're going to log on, um, and then we're just going to make sure that this is all working, and then we can do some quick testing, and um, just to show you how smooth the the experience is. So um, I'll be back shortly, um, and then say yeah. Then we'll do some testing. Okay, we're back. So I've actually gone ahead and done some testing um, so just to make sure that everything is working. Um, and I confirm everything is working. Okay, so we're now going to flick over to my other screen where you're actually going to see um, the, the actual HTC5 code in use. Um, so just going to flick over to here. So the way to find out whether we're using the, the H.265 or the H.264 codec is to actually look in the, the event log. Okay, so we're looking for this event ID here. Um, which is the event ID 162. Okay, so if you look inside the um, Microsoft Windows Remote Desktop Services RDP Core CDV operational log, um, we're looking for event ID 162. Um, and where it's telling us here, like the initial profile is 32768, um, that essentially means that it's using the, the H265 um, codec. Okay. Um, I can confirm that I did some testing before I applied the settings and it was a bit choppy um, and after applying the settings I can confirm it's actually really smooth so here's what you can see is a website that I'm using um, car visualizer uh, so let me just turn off the audio for that um, um, basically here we can see the GPU um, being used so I'm using a NVIDIA Tesla M60 and uh, so that's using like 31% of the uh, GPU uh, so I'm just going to put that over there in the corner and then you'll be able to see now look if I just move my mouse around it is like ultra ultra smooth okay so so when we were using the um, H.264 codec this was like quite choppy um, and it was using um, probably a bit less of the GPU um, but this is using more of the GPU and it's giving me like a much, much, much smoother experience. So when we use H265, we get like up to 60 frames a second. Whereas I think the old codec was like up to 30 frames a second. So um, it, it gives you a whole load of more smoothness. So this is actually really, really, really impressive. Okay. So yeah, so that, that's the result of the testing. So all looking good. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you found this... Um, the video useful um this has been really really useful um for me just to see this new kodak i actually proved i actually used it before during private preview um but to see it go into public preview uh it is really cool i just wanted to point out one more thing actually so um you can see here uh, on the gpu um we can see the actual um encode when he's using that so and uh, the more we use it the more kind of that'll go up as well so um, that's actually quite cool to see that there as well and you can see as well like i'm hardly using any any of the kind of cpu there um it's mostly the gpu and um, which is actually doing the work there and also the ethernet speed as well so when i was doing this the same test with the h264 codec 
uh, my Ethernet speed was probably at least double um, sort of the bandwidth. So the bandwidth requirements for H2C5 codec um, are much, much lower as well. Okay. All right. So that's it for me, this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope you learned something. Um, and I hope you have a lot of fun with the H265 codec. Okay. All right. See you in the next video. Thanks. Goodbye.